Hello and good morning, doctor. How are you doing today? Good morning. Great to be with you. Dude, I, I've been so excited to talk with you because the, what you have featured inside this book is more than just a bunch of recipes, but you actually break it down and allow us to understand why it is. It's so important. Many people have tried all kinds of diets, but science has made this so much easier. It turns out that certain foods actually cause weight loss. Now, people have speculated about this for a long time, but Harvard researchers actually showed that it's true for certain foods. In 2015, looking at more than 100,000 people, the Harvard research team found that the more you ate of certain specific foods, the more weight people would lose as the years went by. And it happens because of three things. Certain foods are appetite tamers, so that you push away from the, from the dinner table before you've really overdone it. You just feel satisfied. Mm -hmm. Certain foods are metabolism boosters, so you burn calories faster, and others will trap calories so you can't absorb them. We now know what those foods are, and my job was to put them into recipes so that people can use the power foods. One of the things that kind of shocked me is coconut oil, because, I mean, coconut water in itself has become such a big seller, and there's a lot of these power drinks that feature coconut water, but, but you, you say that it's a squatter. Coconut oil is a real mistake. It's heavily uh, advertised, and to an extent, you could even say it's natural, but it's bad in two ways. First of all, every gram of coconut oil, like any other fat, has nine calories packed in it. Wow. Let me say that again. Nine calories in every gram of coconut oil. That's a lot. But even worse, when you look at coconut oil, it's a waxy solid, which is a sign that it's really high in saturated fat, so it not only causes weight gain, but it will increase your cholesterol level. But yes, that's a boot. Harvard, the foods that they found to be at the top of the list were blueberries, raspberries, yes. strawberries. Uh, so what my research team did is we took those blueberries, put them into a blueberry muffin, or put them into blueberry syrup on French toast, so you're getting a power food. They found uh, as well that beans, ordinary black beans, were a power food. They would tend to cause people to lose weight. So my team makes a Southwest chili. Oh, wow. Which is delicious. <laughs> but it, it takes advantage of the power foods. So the whole idea is use the foods that cause weight loss automatically. It works whether you exercise or not. You do not have to limit calories or carbohydrates. The foods do the work for you. That's why we call them. Because what a lot of people like to eat with their eyes and the pictures inside this book. Oh, my God, doctor. I mean, you make me want to get in that kitchen at 7 o'clock in the morning and start cooking. <laughs> you know, the credit has to go with it to our team. Um, my job as a doctor and clinical researcher is made so much easier because I work with Dustin Harder and Lindsay S. Nixon, who are the the greatest this is two inches away from food porn i have to say <laughs> these food this food photography is so wonderful um but you know that's kind of for a reason because isn't is this not true people dieting have suffered they, yes. they've been told you can't eat don't eat don't eat carbs don't eat an apple you know because it's got sugar in it and they think what am i supposed to eat what's healthy anymore and my message is there's a lot that you can eat take my mango doll Take my pasta arrabbiata. Take my triple berry sorbet. These are delicious foods, and I've got more than 100 others so that you can not only enjoy it, but you can share them with somebody you love, your spouse, your kids, your yep. parents, because they need some help too. And you can share these foods. You can get healthy together. One of the things that I'm very proud of you is that you're on a mission to help prevent heart disease. And um, I, I suffered a heart attack. Of course, I'm much aware of what's going on now. So, I mean, I, I'm, I want to be on that mission with you by getting the word out about this. And one of the things that listeners need to understand is that this is not a shame on you kind of a book. This is a, hey, let's go ahead and grow together. That is so important. And this is what we do in our research studies. We've worked with more than a thousand people. Uh, we have... Right now, a lot of people will overeat at mealtime because they just don't feel full. Well, we use foods to trigger the release of GLP-1, just like Wagovi does or Ozempic does, but we do it naturally, the way the body is designed to do it, so that you feel full, yeah. you feel satisfied, you feel good, uh, without bad side effects. And then we also have foods that boost your metabolism after the meal, so that you, you, you're burning calories faster and it works so easily. Now, are we on the right track when it comes to plant-based foods? Because I'm starting to really get into it because they're easier to use and they taste a lot better. But is it a good source? Yes. Plant-based foods are the, are the best foods. When, when, the, when Mother Nature brings you 
that bounty of fruits, whether it's apples or bananas or pears or, or take a mango or take a papaya. When I was a kid growing up in Fargo, North Dakota, I never tasted a mango. Well, that bright yellow color comes from beta carotene, which is a power food. It helps people to lose weight. Wow. So, we, yes, we take those things. We take the humble beans, the vegetables, the fruits. But our job is to make them into meals that love you. Glucose down, and these foods have those benefits. So I just want to say a huge thank you to you because you, you not only have taken a great interest in, in, in this mission too, but you share that with your listeners. And I want to say this to you. You will never know how many people hear what you've said today what, and what we've talked about today. They share it with a friend or a loved one who shares it with somebody else. You're never going to know how many lives you save, yeah. but it's huge. And I'm grateful to you for that. Are you shocked that salmon isn't on the good thing list? Because, and because I take omega-3, now I'm thinking, should I be taking omega-3 and should I be eating the salmon? The salmon, no. It's 40% fat. If people were hoping that the good fat would help their heart, turns out it doesn't really work. And it tends to be fattening because it's nine calories per gram. Wow. So thank you for letting me break people's hearts about <laughs> salmon, but that's where we are. I hope people will have a chance to look at the Power Foods diet. <laughs> How addictive is this so-called yo-yo diet? Up and down, up and down. Okay, I'm going to do it. So I met a friend, and the friend said, "No, I liked you better when you were heavier. Come on, let's go out and let's go out and eat raw food again." You know, there are all kinds of ways of approaching it, and people will will lose weight with the cabbage soup diet or this yeah. or that or the other thing. The easiest, most permanent way is the power foods because these are the foods that are naturally healthy. So thank you for letting me share this uh, good information with with your listeners today. Yeah. Now, one of the things that you cover inside your book, which I thought was very, very truthful and transparent, and you asked the question, have foods become addicting? And it's like, oh, yes, it has. Because when I want when I'm craving it, it, I'm craving it. And the goal is, is that I've got to get to start craving the right stuff. That's what happens. Is it, would, it takes about 21 days, about three weeks. That's what I thought. People's tastes do change because you're getting a reward. You're eating the foods, you lose weight. You're eating the foods, your energy's better. You're eating the foods, the digestion is better, and the foods start tasting like something you want. I got to run. Thank you very much for including me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for being a lifesaver. You'd be brilliant today, okay, sir? All right. You too.